Robbie Weeds here. Wanted to show you guys uh, how to ID Dallas grass. Um, very thick blade. Uh, has some hairs on it. Uh, one of the key identifying features is uh, the seed head, which has round seeds. Um, and it's only on one side of the seed uh, head. You see that? How uh, one side has a line of round seeds and the other side is bare. Um, you can see it has a very... Uh, 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 prominent mid vein in the leaf. Another uh, of its growth habits is it, it grows so uh, viciously. It starts as a bunch type grass. So it would grow very strong in the center and as it grows out, it grows so strong it strangles itself on the inside. So you get this round formation and then another grass will, uh, will fill in. A lot of times when this happens with diseases, it's called the frog eye effect. But uh, this happens with Dallas grass as, as well very common um the only uh uh there is a couple treatments um i i've had luck at uh causing some damage with quinclorac with a uh, uh, mso maxed out but um really uh, it would be msma um uh, it's not labeled for residential turf anymore um it's an arsenic based herbicide a lot of people uh, didn't like hearing that even though it there's plenty other herbicides that are more dangerous. And uh, now, uh, Pylex. Uh, Pylex is labeled for Dallas grass. Um, I believe it's just suppression as of now, but uh, it's good news that uh, they're looking into uh, ways to um, control perennial grasses as uh, Dallas grass is perennial. It goes dormant in the winter and no pre-emergent is gonna stop already established Dallas grass. So uh, a couple years ago, MSMA and uh, using glyphosate was the only ways to post-emergent control it other than just digging it out.